Hi and welcome to another Explain video. As we know the Subaru Impreza is a legendary car and is well known for its rally heritage and its all wheel drive system. Over time many people have wondered what's actually going on in this all wheel drive system so I thought I'd take the opportunity to explain the setup of the Impreza STI. And I have separate videos for the Impreza GX, WRX and DCCD models so consider subscribing to see those videos. The Impreza has a variety of all-wheel drive models, the performance ones being the WRX and STI. And today we'll be talking about the top model, which is the track-orientated STI model. The STI is missing only one thing, and that is the active center diff installed to the STI DCCD. And whilst the STI looks very similar to the other models, underneath it's seriously beefed up. It's upgraded in almost every single possible way. Here I have a diagram of a Subaru STI drivetrain system. Here we have the engine, which sends power through a six-speed manual gearbox, not a five-speed like the lesser models. Now this gearbox dictates the gear ratio between the engine speed and the rest of the drivetrain. The center diff is an LSD, and so is the front and rear differentials. The centre diff, front diff and gearbox are all housed in the same casing and these gearboxes weigh an absolute ton. I think the STI gearbox weighs over 100 kilograms. So uh, yeah, check out the video in the description and you can see how my ownership went when I owned uh, a Subaru. Now once the power exits the gearbox it goes to a centre differential. Now this differential is an LSD or a limited slip diff. And unlike an open diff, which will just allow the power to go whenever it feels like, the LSD will physically split the power and it will force half the power to go one way and half the power to go the other way. So the center LST will split power equally going from the front and rear. And then once the power reaches the front and rear, the differentials on each of those axles will then equally split the power side to side because they're limited slip differentials again. Now these are not active or electronically controlled. It's not a cheap imitation using brake vectoring like what the Golf R does. It's 100% the real deal. Full mechanical torque split. No computers, no interference. And this is really a big appeal to why a lot of people like the Subaru STI. Now here we have a simulation of how the power would be diverted if the car was to accelerate through a muddy puddle. Now I'll show a 50% maximum slip on the front and rear differentials, just for reference. Now as we can see, while some power is wasted in spinning the slipping wheel, the wheel is going through the mud, the wheels that are actually on the tarmac and the wheels that have grip, they're still receiving at least some torque. Now on the track, when turning extremely sharp and to full acceleration, the wheels may start to slip a little, but it will not cause the car to one wheel peel. We've covered the GX, we've covered the WRX, and we've covered the STI. But the Subaru do actually make one more, and that is the STI DCCD version. Now, if you want to see how that actually works as well, be sure to subscribe and check out the videos I've already done on the Mitsubishi Evo and the other models of Subaru. So hopefully you have enjoyed this little explain video, and let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to subscribe if you do enjoy the videos and to see my future uploads on other cars.